active and former players, uh, athletes, uh, public figures around the city to make sure that we're spreading the message of one of the biggest events to come to the city of Seattle and King County uh, right here in the Northwest. We're real excited about that. And we talk about the Special Olympics. It, it goes way back to its founder when Miss Eunice had a vision back in the 50s and the 60s about inclusion. And I think that's the word that we should use when we mention Seattle and what what the city of Seattle is doing in terms of inclusion. Having, sure, absolutely, thank you. You know, intellectual disabilities, it's something you can't predict. It happens in all races, uh, all countries. Um, but, but one of the things that the Special Olympics has done and their goal of doing is to reach out to over 200 million people across the world that have intellectual disabilities. And the great thing about it is that there is inclusion and uh, camaraderie in one common ground, and that's sports. And I think with sports, a lot of people with different backgrounds, uh, different beliefs can come together and uh, compete and serve one purpose, and that's the joy that I love most about being involved with Special Olympics and sports. So the USA Games coming to Seattle, July 1st through the 6th, opening ceremony is at UW Husky Stadium. And Seattle will host over 4,000 athletes and coaches from across the country, competing in 14 sports, including swimming, flag football, golf, gymnastics, stand-up paddleboarding. I mean, you name it. I was looking at some of the, the competitions that, that, uh, that's involved uh, with the Special Olympics, and it was uh, pretty exciting. I tell you what, stand-up paddleboarding, I've been paddleboarding one time, and <laughs> I wouldn't compete in it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I wouldn't compete in it. And uh, here's one other thing you should be excited about, too. Right here in Federal Way, Two of the venues will take place not too far away, and that's the King County Aquatic Center and Celebration Park. And we'll be welcoming the athletes right here to Federal Way during that first week of July. So before we get to the athletes and recognizing these athletes for their uh, bravery and uh, for their, um, you know, to put them on the stage, uh, to, to, to praise them and, and, and give them a lot of confidence and support. Uh, I want to bring up the mayor, the mayor right here in Federal Way, Jim Farrell, to say a few words and welcome everyone. Thank you very much. Do we miss him on the Seahawks? It's great to have him here. Hey, thank you so much and hello Federal Way. We've got a great event for you today. It's just very great to see the community come together. We've got a number of our uh, uh, community leaders here with us and let's give, uh, I just want to acknowledge we've got our state senator, Mark Belosha. Mark, Mark, thank you for what you do in Olympia. We've got our neighboring senator, Senator Joe Fain. Thank you, Joe. We've got our own state representatives, Christine Reeves. Christine, thank you. Representative Mike Pliciotti. Mike. We got Deputy Mayor Honda here. Council members, Mark Copang. Lydia Asefa Dawson. Martin Moore. And Jesse Johnson. Thank you for all the work you do. Let me start by saying thank you to everyone for coming out here today to cheer on these incredible and inspirational athletes. We're so proud to have them in our community. And we're excited that we'll have a chance to cheer them on during the USA Games. You know, I also want to say that there's been so much work over the past three years. And I remember when Tim Johnson was first talking about the 2018 Special Olympics, I thought, oh, that's a long time away. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's here. And there's been a lot of work, and Tim Johnson's been at the heart of it. Let's give Tim Johnson, our Economic Development Director, a big round of applause. Thank you, Tim. Now, Yuni Shriver the founder of the Special Olympics said, quote, you are the stars and the world is watching you. By your presence, you send a message to every village, every city, every nation. A message of hope, a message of victory. We're honored to be chosen as the site for swimming and softball during the games. 
Our park crews, some of the best in the state, have Celebration Park shining in anticipation for softball. As a region of inclusion that values and exemplifies opportunities for individuals of all abilities, we're proud to open our communities to the athletes, families, friends, and fans here for the USA Games. It's truly exciting. Our local businesses and residents look forward to celebrating the athletes and their accomplishments and wish them well in their competition. Civic engagement is among our priorities as a city and all citizens benefiting from Special Olympics Games through understanding, inclusion, and support. It reminds us of what is truly important in life. Thank you, everybody, and welcome to Federal Way. Let the games begin! And now we've got our, uh, the Chamber CEO, Becca Martin. Thank you, Mayor, and it's a great day in Federal Way, whether it's rain or shine, and on behalf of the business community, it's quite an honor to be here to welcome you today. Because you know what? Being a business leader is a lot like being an Olympic athlete. Sometimes you're, you're, you're doing blood, sweat, and tears in the background, and you get up in the morning and you think, do I have what it takes? Can I compete? How do I be successful? And I'm going to tell you, one thing we know in Federal Way is that it is the way to success. And as you get ready, this is what's going to make us special because those are just fears that will never keep us back. And as you get ready to compete in the games, your courage will rise. Your determination will rise. Your success will be at your fingertips. And together, we will rise because we will be in the game. And the name of that game is success because we have competed. So thank you for all that you're doing. Thank you for coming to uh, Federal Way. And no matter where you are in Washington, for the games, come on back. Because you know when you're looking for success and a good time, all you have to do, where's the mayor? Come on up here. When you're looking for success and a really good time, and well, I guess I should put that another way. When you're looking for something to do with your family, <laughs> um, all you have to do is Take, Take the federal way. way. <laughs> Thank you. Are you ready to rise? I'm ready to hand it over. Hey, I also want to recognize uh, Miss Federal Way. Tisha Clark is somewhere among us today. There, there, there she is. Great to have your presence here today as well. Now, I believe when we get to the athletes, our state reps and uh, Senator, you're going you're gonna to help me? Senator Joe? You're going to help me recognize the athletes? Where'd the flags go? Uh, I don't know. And what we'll do, we'll, we'll just do it in front of the stage so the stage doesn't get too congested. You want us to just go down there? Yeah, let's, okay. we'll, I'll come down. There's not enough flags now. So what, one thing I want you to know about uh, the Special Olympic athletes that we're going to introduce is I've had a lot of interaction with them over the past year. And just recently in the past month, I uh, teamed up with Special Olympics Committee uh, and their coordinators, and we actually provided transportation uh, for them to a Seahawks, uh, Seahawks rally. They did a training camp uh, down in uh, Tukwila and had a, a great time. So if I can get everyone to stand up and put your hands together for these athletes and their bravery and their courage. We want to recognize these men and women for what they're doing. Uh, it's amazing. It, it really is. It's, 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 it's really, it really is inspiring, I, I'm telling you. It, you, just, you just hang around long enough and, and you'll see how it rubs off on you. So, Senator Fink, you want to introduce our first group? All right, everybody, this is pretty exciting for me. I used to coach on deck at the uh, Aquatic Center for many years, but they've got me announcing the soccer team, some, a sport I know nothing about. So let's get our soccer folks ready to come on up here and be recognized. We're going to start with Brandon Groskost. Next is John Emmett. And we got John Leckband. And Patrick Jensen. Right here. 
What a beautiful day. Our next group of athletes, we have Tara Gunther. Yes, yes. Viana Lopez, come on down. Yes. Willie Blackson, come forward. Go, Willie. Yes. Somebody with energy. And Troy Marsh. State representative, and much like um, Senator Joe Fain, they have me introducing a sport I know nothing about. I played softball, but I'm excited to introduce uh, your flag football. Folks going to nationals today. Woo! Uh, our next group of athletes include Alex Williams. Go get him, Alex. Next up, Ben Kennedy. After Ben comes Josh Bennett! Woo! Woo! Oh, gosh. All right, Nick King's in the house! All right, Nick. Next up, Roy Stewart! Is Sam Shelton in the house? Woo! And last but not least, Richard Reyes! Not here. All right, next up, Representative Mike Pelicciotti. All right, thank you, Representative Reeves. Hey, I get the chance to introduce not just our final athletes, but our coaches. We start with Tim Dempsey. Coach Steve Snow. <laughs> Coach Sharon Boyle. <laughs> Coach Clay Williams. And Coach Taylor Boyle. Please give these athletes and coaches another round of applause. Thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, I, I know you saw all the athletes come up, and you can see a little bit of their personality, but I told you I had a chance to interact with a few of them. And, uh, Big Josh, I told Josh, Josh is a big man. I told him, I'm going to give him a tryout for the Seahawks at, at the defensive tackle. And Troy, Troy is a re receiver, right? Uh, uh, yeah. pass oh, the pass rusher. Yeah, yeah, pass rusher. Head defensive pass rusher. Don't miss the head defensive pass rusher. He got to get after the quarterback. And then uh, Roy. Roy over there. See, last time we were together, Roy and I had a dance contest. So if you want to learn how to dance, Roy, where you at? Don't be shy, Roy. Get over here. Yeah, see, <laughs> this man can dance, so, uh, what, I know, I'm sure he can. We don't, we don't really have, now, we, now that's, you want to get him? You want to, come on, Roy, show him some. Go, Roy, 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 go, Roy. See, now you want to act shy, huh? See, he wants the music, he wants the music. <laughs> I told you last time we were at, we were at the training camp, man, he was in the middle of the circle. He had the, I mean, there was about 100 or 200 athletes out there. He had everybody going. It was, it was a great time. So thank you for your energy, Roy. More athletes in the, in the crowd? That's all right. Just, just be recognized. Raise your hand. We'd like to recognize you as well. If there's anyone, any former athletes who've been a part of Special Olympics, raise your hand. Be recognized. Thank you. Thank each of you. Well, see, now it's time for a special performance 
and this is the Rise With Us Rally Girls. Are you ready? Yeah. I, thought Ro I think Rose is going to be a part of, she was like uh, responsible for the, the choreography for the, for the Rally Girls, so. Are the Rally Girls ready? Are we ready to perform? with us rally gals and we are so excited to do a little chant for you guys so if you guys want to join in you are more than welcome to and we'd love to hear your voices so we're going to get started real quick We're here for you guys, and we're here to support you, all right? Make sure that we empower you guys to be as confident, as brave as you can, and courageous when you take those, uh, take those competitions come 1st of July. I, I, I mentioned a few of the venues uh, that will host uh, some of the events. Uh, here's a moment to recognize a few of those directors who will be overseeing those venues. If uh, Mike Dunwitty from King County Aquatics is here. Oh, there, hey, Mike. Okay, good, good, thank you. You, you ready? Are you ready? You, you, you all set? You feel good about it? There he is. Mike manages the swimming uh, facility over there. And John Hutton, who's also the, uh, he's taking care of Celebration Park. Where's Mr. John? Where is he? Where is he? Where in the back? Oh, hey, hey, hey. The John staff maintains the softball fields uh, over at Celebration Park, so thank both of you for your attendance today, and uh, we look forward to being able to host these great athletes. It's going to be a fun time. Okay, I think we're coming back to the stage is uh, Mr. Tim Dempsey. He's coming back to the stage to share a few words. And after that... We'll have a moment to, uh, to do a photo op with all the athletes. We'll get all the athletes in front of the stage and we'll take some photos. Then we'll, let, we'll welcome the band back on and we'll get on with the day. All right, guys. Good morning, by the way. Who in the crowd is a part of Team Washington? Yeah. 
Who in the crowd is part of the Special Olympics? <laughs> Who in the crowd is excited to bring the USA Games to Federal Way? If you don't know me, my name is Tim Dempsey. In April, I was officially accepted as the last member of Team Washington. For the first ever Microsoft Unified Gaming. I work, live, and play in Federway. And I'm a very, 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 very proud employee at Wild Waves Theme Park. Yeah. It is important to recognize the work being here done today and has been done for many years by ladies like Tim Johnson, Rodell, Kevin Hutchinson, and the almighty Sharon Boyle. Yeah! Yeah! I'd like to thank the Federal Community Center, Federal the city of Federal Who, have made, who has made Federal Way a city of inclusion. This isn't just something we started now. This is rooted deep in the Federal Way history. From promoting inclusion through our schools, places like World Vision, and business leaders, who embrace the Special Olympics community. <laughs> Today is a special day for us to show our community that we are here. Yeah. And we look forward to moving forward hand in hand and continue building our city of inclusion. But before I leave today, I'd like to kick off the games. Before the opening ceremonies on July 1st. With our athlete oath. Athletes, Community members, please repeat after me. Let me win. Let me win. But if I cannot win, yes, I win, let me be brave in the attempt. Let me be brave in the attempt. Now athletes, on three, I want you to yell as loud as you can. Rise with us. Ready? One, two, three. Rise with us! Give it up one more time for Coach Tim! The athletes, oh, that's, I mean, that's, that's the motto of, of Special Olympics. And, uh, you know, that right there alone just kind of really, really just exemplifies the courage uh, that these athletes have in competing in these events. So thank you, really, for your bravery. It's inspiring. It really is. Before we conclude and get back to some great music, I know these guys are itching back there already. Ready? You stringing it up back there? 
<laughs> I want to uh, welcome the director, uh, Mrs. Rose, uh, to thank everyone, including our sponsors, uh, for a great event and being able to partner with the Special Olympics to recognize our athletes and to bring attention right here to what's getting ready to happen in Federal Way in just a few short weeks. Ms. Rose. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Oh. Let's everybody give a big hand for Jordan Babineau. He was great. We appreciate it. We appreciate all you coming. And we had uh, Pastor Joe that was up here earlier. We all were praying for no rain. So, so see how, how good our prayers were? So, yes, we're very thankful for that. And in fact that I guess it snowed in the mountains and we didn't have snow here. So that was another good thing. So anyway, we want to also thank the band. They were so great. Let's give a big hand again for the band. And they're also going to be playing um, after afterwards. And do walk around and see the different booths. They have a lot of uh, different giveaways and things for you to look at. And, uh, and do come into the market. We have fresh strawberries today. And we also have um, a lot of food booths that you can enjoy a variety of food and fresh fruits and vegetables, lots of things for you to enjoy today. And Katrina's bringing me up on the list, which I forgot. <laughs> Want to make a list of all the sponsors? Uh, of course, the Special Olympics, we thank them for being here, the City of Federal Way. Uh, of course, the Federal Way Farmers Market, South King County Aquatic Center, Walgreens is going to be right here, and they're going to be passing out some goodie bags for you. Federal Public Schools, let's give a cheer for the schools as well. Uh, Confetti Party Box put all these balloons together. Let's give them a hand. Federal Parks Department over here to my left. And uh, also, um, BECU has, uh, has some goodie bags for you, as well as Trader Joe's. Danforth and Associates provided all the flags for the athletes. And uh, the uh, Woodmen uh, provided um, the flags back here. And we're thankful for that. And of course, uh, Jordan has his uh, business here, a sure ride. Let's give a big hand for, the, for that. So find out all about, about his business. And uh, we're thankful for the Federal Mirror. Give a hand, Andy. Uh, we're very thankful for that. They, they did some great stories. We really appreciate all their, their, their work they did in this. And, and they're also a sponsor of the Special Olympics as well. So Sound Publishing is. So we're very happy for that. And uh, Heritage Bank is here. Give a shout out to Heritage Bank. And Left Coast Streetwear uh, provided the t-shirts. And then we have Sprint here today. See, Sprint's right over there with their gang. And, uh, you know, so we're, we're very thankful for all of our sponsors here. And um, also, um, just, again, do stay for uh, walk around, walk around the market, and listen to the music of our great band, uh, Lost and Found, uh, featuring Audrey Collins. Oh, Federal Way Police. Oh boy, I forgot the police. Can't forget the police. Federal Way Police. Let's give a shout out to Federal Way Police. And also the fire department. You can see them over there. Let's give a shout out to the fire department. Did I miss anyone else? We thank you for, for all of our um, elected officials that were here today. We appreciate them um, for their participation. And our mayor and uh, Becca, our CEO of the chamber. See, did I miss anybody else? All right. Oh, uh, Leafy Green, I should mention him. He plays, uh, uh, he entertains at our market, and he kind of helped us today with, with the sound and, and uh, the introductions. So we thank him very much. So. You stand here. We're going to take a little photo. We'll let the band start making their way back to, to their sets, get back in position. We'd love to hear. I want to get Roy. Roy said he wanted to hear some music. I promise you, if you give him a, a nice little beat, 
he, he may bust a move now, okay? He may bust a move. So if I can welcome all the athletes back to the front of the stage, here's a moment to get a photo opportunity. Grab your camera, grab your video, get ready. Rose, don't you go nowhere. You're in this. Come on. You can stand right up top if you want. You can stand on stage. That's fine. Good, good. Maybe a few, uh...